When I began, I said the campaign was grounded in my love for our country. Just last week, my mother, a first-generation immigrant, got to vote for her daughter for president. Only in America. I am filled with the gratitude for the outpouring of support we've received from all across our great country. But the time has now come to suspend my campaign. I said I wanted Americans to have their voices heard. I have done that. I have no regrets. And although I will no longer be a candidate, I will not stop using my voice for the things I believe in. Our national debt will eventually crush our economy. A smaller federal government is not only necessary for our freedom, it is necessary for our survival. The road to socialism is the road to ruin for America. Our Congress is dysfunctional and only getting worse. It is filled with followers, not leaders. Term limits for Washington politicians are needed now more than ever. Our world is on fire because of America's retreat. Standing by our allies in Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan is a moral imperative. But it's also more than that. If we retreat further, there will be more war, not less. Exploring themes encompassing American exceptionalism. The advocacy for a lean government, fiscal prudence, and a robust national defense sets the stage. Delving into Nikki Haley's profound patriotism, the family's immigration narrative, and the imperative of safeguarding the American dream provides a rich emphasis. Nikki Haley's fervent call for a streamlined federal government resonates deeply, aligning with conservative ideals of restrained governmental interference, a pointed reference. To the national debt's encroachment on economic stability taps into prevalent anxieties regarding fiscal accountability. The conservative stance underscores unwavering support for allies, invoking nations like Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. At its core, a fundamental conservative perspective emerges, championing a stalwart national defense and a commanding global presence. 